Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a grass-fed green chili bacon and cheddar cheeseburger. It's going to be the best burger you've ever tried. Let me show you my beef here. This is the grass-fed beef that I got from Jamie and Amy, and I always like to grind my beef when I have time. And the main reason I like to do it is the texture is great, and I know that my grinder is clean. Now, having such fabulous beef like this, we don't want to add a lot of things to it. I simply add a little bit of garlic pepper. You generally can get this type of spice in any store. A little bit of garlic pepper. Then I add a little bit of kosher salt. And the final touch is a little Worcestershire sauce. And don't go too heavy on this because you can certainly overpower. Just a few drops. And now, the fun part is we get in there and mix. This will wind up being about, I would say, two half pound burgers, which is going to be a pretty good size. So once we have all of our seasonings well incorporated, I'll divide it in half, and then I'll pretend I'm making snowballs. Actually, just meat, we won't throw it. About that size, like maybe a baseball, a little smaller, and then we'll kind of press it down and mold it. And I like to squeeze the edges, that way it stays together. One down. Take our next one again, make our snowballs. And it's very easy to grind and make your own burgers. And what's nice about it is you can buy, you know, 10 pounds of chuck and make enough ground meat to last a while. It goes very well in the freezer. So you just freeze it whenever you want it and you'll have it. Okay, these are ready. I'm going to go and wash my hands, then go out to the grill. I want to show you a quick tip on how to use these beautiful charcoal chimneys here. What you need to do is turn it over. The first step is always to turn it over. And what you're going to do is stuff it with something flammable. In this case, I saved my old shopping bags. I just crunch them up. Get them in there like that. And now we want to turn this over. Right to the top. And then I'll take a match and get down there and light this thing on fire. And what's going to happen is the chimney will burn the paper straight up and it'll set these coals on fire much quicker than if you were to use one of those electric things. And we certainly don't want to be using lighter fluid which puts chemical into our food. So the charcoal chimney is definitely the way to go. So now that our paper's on fire, in about 20 minutes, all this will ash over and you'll be ready to grill or do whatever cooking you're gonna do. All right, our coals have burned down. They're nice and ashed over. So I'm gonna use a little rag here because these things, even though they're plastic, they tend to get hot. So I'll grab that and carefully pour our hot coals in. And now we can put our rack right on top. And then I like to use this grill brush, which is very nice and it has brass and it gets all around those bars. And as soon as it gets hot, it will clean it up really nicely. And that is ready to cook on. Now this is really hot. You can tell because I can only keep my hand there. One Mississippi tube, not even two. So we'll take our burgers and lay them down. And now we wait. Okay, now we're gonna take our green chilies and these are roasted poblano peppers that I did myself. Lay some of those on there, and those are not overly spicy, just enough. And then some good sharp cheddar cheese right on top. We're also going to take our buns and drop those on the grill. They've been buttered a little bit, as you can see, and it's going to help them get a nice little toast on them. Now we'll put the lid on and get a little oven effect to melt that cheese.
Okay, now it's time to finish up our burgers. I toasted our buns here with a little butter. What I'm gonna do first is take mayo, and I build these in a very specific order. Put a little mayo on the bottom, and then I like Dijon mustard. This is a French Dijon mustard. We'll add just a tad of that to the bottom. And then the ketchup goes on top. Add a little ketchup. And in this case, I have Boston lettuce or bib lettuce. It's got a nice crunch to it. And we'll take that and put it on the bottom. And that's going to be a little nest for our burger. And we'll take it right here. Beautiful burger. The last step is to put some nice hickory smoked bacon right on top. Cover it up with our top. And that's it. The Harvest Eating Community celebrates the benefits of a healthy eating lifestyle through seasonal, organic, and local foods. To view more of Chef Snow's recipe videos and to experience the Harvest Eating lifestyle, visit HarvestEating.com. Harvest Eating, four seasons, one lifestyle. Oh,